The media, the way it is designed is to give you a false impression that it's just entertainment. Education Monday, Education Monday on the Tribal Root Studio with Alina Zahil. Changing mindsets in Africa, making a world better. Together, we can make a difference. We are fixing Africa. Education Monday. Education Monday. Tribal Root Studio once again, and this is the Education Monday, brought to you by Alina Zahil. My name is Alina Zahil, and every Monday I will be here to give you the best from our education beats empowering you with knowledge to make sure your mindset is the right one. Changing mindsets is our goal and we hope so much that you become successful with a new knowledge acquired. Today I'm going to speak about the media. So the media is the gun, it's the bullets, it's the greatest tool that you can use to fight. The media is so powerful like no other thing. The media is the instrument of power. Did you hear that? I guess you didn't know because the media, the way it is designed is to give you a false impression that it's just entertainment because you have to Tune in on the TV, listen to radio, and, 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 and pass by some billboard, and maybe even watch a movie. And you think that that is all, that that was meant to entertain you. Well, the media is powerful like no other thing in the world. And that is why every establishment and every kingdom must have the media as part of their defense, as part of their protection. The media is where we get information. The media is what empowers the people. The media is what shapes society. But now this is not the point I am trying to make. The greatest point I'm making today is how the media is very, very instrumental in subliminal seductions. Subliminal seductions are those messages that come to you and unconsciously you suck them in and they become a part of your subconscious that ultimately you will start acting and living like what the intention for those messages was. You heard that? So this is exactly how the media and how people have managed to shape our thinking. If there's a new fashion trend, we watched it on TV. If there's a new haircut, we saw someone famous with it. Or there's a new product on the market, it is being advertised everywhere on social media and everywhere. If there are, are, are bad vices that we are ashamed of, and but we know they are happening, it's because the media gave them a chance and a platform. So, as African people, what do we learn from this? <clears throat> the greatest lesson we can learn from this is that we must have our own media. <clears throat> For us to count as people who understand. For us to, aunt, to count as people who are ready to win. We must have our own media. And there's no shortcut. There's no shortcut. There's no going around that. There's no two way around it. It has to be you have your own media 
or you accept to perish. We are mostly influenced by people who have so much powerful media that their media tells us what happened in the world. That is why we have stories in our books. We, we have been told in school that we have this explorer who came to Uganda and discovered the Renzori mountain and his name is this. And then we have this other explorer who came to the Marchion Falls and then he was the first one to discover the Marchion Falls. So they have used the media, the print media, where they give you a textbook and every time you read the book it tells you Henry Martin Stanley was the first person to step here. That is the tool of power that has now convinced all of us that really these explorers were the first people to discover our own, our own lands can be true at all. Before you came to see the river Nile, there were people around it. Before you came to see the Renzori mountain, there were natives, indigenous people that lived there. Before you, 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 you called this lake Albert, there were people that lived there and it wasn't Albert. The Renzori mountain was called Renjura, which means the mountain that, that creates rain. Mm -hmm. So, all these things are happening, but Africans won't easily see the role or the power that the media uses to shape our thinking. So, if you grew up thinking Renzori mountain is called, uh, is called Renzori, you have been also a product of the brainwashing that the media does. So that is the smaller picture of the big picture. If they manage to lie about that, then they are lying about very many other things. So if you read a story on these major media, international medias, before you take it in and believe it, make your research. Think twice. Because we have evidence that they have used the media very many times to lie to the people. And if they sell you a lie and you buy it, there is no way out for you. You won't be able to progress on a lie. You won't be able to make the right decisions. Once, once the lie is implanted in you, you're going to live your life a lie for the rest of your life. So the reason why we need the African media is because we want to tell our story. We want the story from the horse's mouth. We want the story told by our parents, our grandparents. We want the story told by the indigenous people. This is the story that will help us to build because it's the truth. So the media is that powerful. If you have kids at home, you must have seen kids. When kids are accustomed to watching cartoons, uh, when you find them playing and they are speaking to each other, you, you find them speaking like cartoons. It's not like anyone taught them. No one taught them to speak like cartoons, to imitate the cartoons, no. Subconsciously, they have soaked in they have soaked in the mannerism from the cartoons they watch. And without being aware, they are able to imitate and speak like those very cartoons they watch every day. So even you as an adult, whatever movies you watch, whatever fashion shows you watch, whatever horror movies you want to watch, you like to watch, everything you watch is becoming a part of you subconsciously and the very reason why there are some of the things that happen in society and we really are, are, are feeling like this is too much, this is not us. The murders, you know, the, the crimes, the, you know, the, the immorality. Most of these things are happening because people are being trained every day to be that. They are being trained by the media to turn into who they are. There is so much power that the media can do so much power from the tribal root studio because we are bringing you the changing mindsets program on the education monday every monday to change your mindset we would like to encourage you to support the african centered media tribal roots tv is that please remember to subscribe and click on the notification button and make sure to follow us 
every Monday tune into the Tribal Roots Studio and you can like our Facebook page Tribal Roots Studio. You can also hit the subscribe button even on the Tribal Roots Studio YouTube channel. Thank you for being with us. My name is Alina Zahi once again and I wish you peace and blessings. Bye-bye.